The Great Mafia Wars refer to a period of high-profile serial killings and thousands of homicides in the Mafia world due to conflicts between Mafia families over the control of territories and the lucrative heroin trade. It started with the outbreak of the First Mafia War in the early 1960s, during which different factions of the Mafia strove to alter the balance of power within the organization, then transitioned to the Second Mafia War in the late 1970s, during which a Mafia clan from the village of Corleone, known as the Corleonesi, sought to dominate the entire organization, and finally, the war against the state, whereby the Sicilian Mafia launched a campaign against the Italian state with the deliberate assassinations of judges, prosecutors, politicians, police officers, journalists, and any members of the civil society who sought to bring Mafia members to justice. The Great Mafia Wars ended with the Maxi Trial in 1986, during which 338 Mafia members were sentenced to a total of 2,665 years in prison, not counting the multiple life sentences given to Mafia bosses. The trial lasted six years and still today is considered the biggest trial in world history. Although the word mafia has become a generic term used to describe any organized crime network, the Sicilian Mafia, or Cosa Nostra, is very different from other criminal organizations in so many ways. In a previous video, titled 10 Things You Need to Know About the Sicilian Mafia, we explained the origin, purpose, modus operandi, initiation rituals, and the Ten Commandments of the Sicilian Mafia. If you haven't watched that video, we strongly suggest you check it out using the end screen that would appear towards the end of this video. Contrary to popular belief, the Sicilian Mafia, or Cosa Nostra, is not a single organization like a drug cartel. It is rather a confederation of about a hundred autonomous groups operating under one brand, the Mafia. The individual groups are referred to as clans, or families, and control demarcated territories. Mafia family members are not necessarily related by blood. The families are collectively governed by the Sicilian Mafia Commission, which comprises leading representative members of the various families. The family is headed by the Mafia boss, referred to as Il Capo, while the head of the commission is considered the supreme leader of the Sicilian Mafia, and is referred to as Il Capo de Capi, or the boss of bosses. Mafia families negotiate and control territories for racketeering, bootlegging, and other illegal activities, and cannot tolerate competition from other clans within their sphere of influence. A dispute between two clans over a territory often ends up involving other Mafia families and eventually the entire organization, thereby resulting in large-scale series of violent murders known as a Mafia War. The First Mafia War was the first major high-profile conflict between factions of Sicilian Mafia families. In February of 1962, the Chinesi family, headed by Cesare Manzella, the Greco family, headed by the Greco cousins, Salvatore di Giuseppe Greco and Salvatore di Pietro Greco, and the La Barbara's family, led by the La Barbara brothers, Salvatore La Barbara and Angelo La Barbara, collectively organized a drug shipment to the United States. Manzella then commissioned another mafia boss, Calcedonio de Pisa, who had American connections, to coordinate the shipment and safe delivery to the American buyers based in New York. Upon receipt of the shipment, the Americans claimed that some of the heroin was missing and paid a commensurately lower sum to what was agreed. De Pisa accused the Americans of defrauding him. While Manzella and the Greco cousins believed De Pisa, the La Barbara brothers accused De Pisa of stealing the missing heroin. As a result, De Pisa was summoned to appear before the Sicilian Mafia Commission, which at the time was headed by one of the Greco cousins, Salvatore di Giuseppe Greco. However, during the hearing, De Pisa convinced most of the commission members that he was innocent. When the commission ruled in his favor, the La Barbara brothers were outraged and declared war on the Grecos. On December 26, 1962, De Pisa, age 31, was shot dead in the streets of Palermo by an unknown gunman. The La Barbara brothers were the principal suspects. On January 17, 1963, Two weeks after the De Pisa murder, one of the La Barbara brothers, Salvatore La Barbara, disappeared and was never heard from again. Around the same time, the other brother, Angelo La Barbara, also disappeared, but reappeared two weeks later at a press conference in Milan. On May 25, 1963, Angelo was shot in Milan, but he survived. 
He was later arrested at a hospital while recovering from the gun wounds. On April 26, 1963, Cesare Manzella, who had sided with De Pisa and the Grecos and was suspected to be behind the La Barbara disappearance, was killed in a car bomb with pieces of his body stuck to a lemon tree a few yards away. With De Pisa and Manzella out of the way, the Grecos were the next target. On June 30, 1963, just one month after Manzella's murder, a car bomb exploded in Chiachuli, in the suburbs of Palermo killing seven police officers who had been sent to defuse it after the Palermo police received an anonymous phone call. The bomb was intended for Salvatore Di Giuseppe Greco, the head of the Sicilian Mafia Commission. The man believed to be behind the bombing was Pietro Toretta, a mafia boss and ally of the La Barbara brothers. Toretta was arrested in February 1964 and sentenced to 27 years in prison. During these times, other Mafia families who had either sided with the Grecos or the La Barbaras were victims of serial assassinations with so many non-Mafia members caught in the crossfire. But it was the death of the seven police officers in the Chiachuli massacre that triggered the Italian parliament to launch a crackdown on the Mafia, resulting in over 1,200 arrests and 117 convictions. The Sicilian Mafia Commission was dissolved, and its leader Salvatore Di Giuseppe Greco fled to Venezuela. The commission was only re-established in 1969, Mafia clans disbanded as many members went into hiding. The inactivity of the Mafia and legal expenses reduced most mafiosi to abject poverty. For 22 years, the misunderstanding over a heroin shipment was believed to have triggered the outbreak of the First Mafia War. However, in 1984, Tommaso Buscetta, a mafioso who had become a police informant, revealed the true perpetrators and the real motivation behind the serial assassinations during the First Mafia War. According to Buscetta, the Mafia boss Michele Cavatio, an old rival of De Pisa, had De Pisa killed, knowing that the heroin dispute would undoubtedly make the La Barbaras the prime suspects. Cavatio then orchestrated the two car bombs, killing Manzella in order to cover up for the De Pisa murder and attempting to eliminate Greco whose growing power at the Sicilian Mafia Commission was detrimental to the individual Mafia families. Cavatio's carefully planned scheme was backed by several Mafia families who resented the growing influence of the Commission. These revelations sent shockwaves throughout the Mafia society and sparked an outcry for revenge for the deaths, imprisonment, and exile of Mafia members as a result of the war. In 1969, the Sicilian Mafia Commission was re-established, and their first assignment was to settle scores with Cavatio. The commission set up a hit squad including Salvatore Toto Rina, who is probably the most violent mobster in Sicilian Mafia history, Bernardo Provenzano, a ruthless mobster of the Corleonesi Mafia family, Carlo Gero Bagarella, a notorious criminal, also a member of the Corleonesi clan, Emanuele Diagostino, a professional hitman of the Santa Maria de Gesù family, Gaetano Grado and Damiano Caruso, who were hitmen of the Riesi clan. The attack, which would later be referred to as Viale Lazio Massacre, occurred on December 10, 1969 at around 7.30 p.m. The hit squad disguised in police uniforms, with Beretta 38A submachine guns, invaded the office of the Moncada Construction Company on the Viale Lazio Street in Palermo, where Cavatio was holding a meeting with the company owners, all members of the Mafia. Toto Rina stayed in the car to supervise the operation, while the others led the attack. Caruso opened fire too early, destroying the advantage of surprise, causing the targets to counterattack, killing Bagarella, and severely wounding Caruso and Provenzano in the shootout that ensued. Cavatio and his men then ducked under a desk, playing dead. Provenzano tried to shoot Cavatio with his submachine gun, but had run out of bullets, so he pulled him from underneath the desk and knocked him unconscious with the butt, pulled out a pistol, and shot him dead. The attack lasted just a few minutes. 108 bullets were fired in the office. The attackers lost Calogero Bagarella, but killed Cavatio and three of his men. The Moncada brothers who survived the attack were later arrested in the hospital while getting treatment for their bullet wounds. They testified against their father, the supposed owner of the company. They provided details of their father's dealings with the mafia. Also, they confirmed that Cavatio was the real owner of the company. As a result, their father, Girolamo Moncada, was arrested. By September 1972, a total of 24 people were convicted in connection to the massacre. Bernardo Provenzano and Toto Rina escaped and were both sentenced in absentia to life in prison. They were only arrested 40 years later.
The 1950s and the 1960s were challenging years for the Cosa Nostra. However, the 1970s came with a rapid expansion in their racketeering businesses, mainly with the boom in cigarette smuggling. The Mafia bosses in Sicily and Naples negotiated a joint monopoly over the shipment of contraband cigarettes into Naples. Also, by 1975, French authorities had shut down all the heroin refineries operated by Corsican mobsters in Marseille, prompting heroin traffickers to look onto Sicily for supply. As a result, the Mafia set up new heroin refineries around Sicily and dominated heroin production and distribution both at home and abroad. Coincidentally, heroin addiction surged in the United States during that time. Members of the Sicilian Mafia were dispatched to control the distribution networks there. While in the US, heroin distribution was mainly through pizza places owned by members of the Italian-American Mafia, thereby automatically laundering the drug money as pizza profits. This was referred to as the Pizza Connection. The Cosa Nostra enjoyed a period of peace and prosperity until the outbreak of the Second Mafia War in the late 1970s. The Second Mafia War, also referred to as the Great Slaughter, was a period marked by a radical change in the balance of power within the Sicilian Mafia, resulting in thousands of homicides and the serial assassination of Mafia bosses. In addition to the violence within the Mafia itself, there was violence against the state, resulting in the death of top politicians, judges, prosecutors, and police chiefs. Please use the end screens that appears towards the end of this video to move to the next episode, the previous episode, or access the full video. Thank you for watching.